Hi, I'm Pat Fry. I'm Chief Technical Officer at the BWT Alpine F1 team. Effectively, all the technical decisions made at Enstone are my responsibility. That's setting the spec of the current car, the targets for the current car, as well as looking at the organization as a whole and what we actually need long-term to, to improve technically um, for future years. The regulation changes for 2022 are you know, the biggest set of rule changes we've seen, in, well, in at least the last 10 years, if not longer. There's a large change to the regulations, um, mainly aerodynamically to try and limit what we can do, um, to try and make cars be able to run closer together and make overtaking easier. It's not just the shape of the cars that change, but the rule, the technicality in the rules is massively complicated now. So everyone's trying to look at the wording of the rules to try and work out what we can actually get away with. The main changes on, on this year's car, um, it, it's moved from being a sort of normal car, as we would say, for the last 10 years, into more of a ground effect car. So the floor is going to be working a lot closer to the ground. We've got to concentrate on you know, how stable those flow structures are, and that's going to be one of the key understandings um, that we need to learn and understand. Um, we've also got a completely new power unit for this year. Viri have been working very hard um, trying to produce the best thing we can because it all gets locked away now. Uh, for There's a homologation period for the next three years. So there's been a huge effort to try and um, get that ready for this year. There's also been some um, great collaboration between um, Enstone and Viri to try and get the maximum out of the car potential as well as just um, improving engine performance. The other change for this year is swapping from 13-inch to 18-inch tyres, um, which again, we, we've been doing lots of development on those through the year, as all the teams have, but again, that's something that we, we need to learn about in the, uh, the early tests and early races. The challenge is in maximising pr the performance with the, uh, the, the new set of rules that we have. I mean, obviously the main focus is aerodynamics and how we actually understand and get the, ca the car working. Um, but also, you know, part of my job is making this, the team better for the future. So it's not just investing in now and understanding what the car is, but we also need to be looking at how we improve the team. You know, a team is built on, on three things. You've got, you know, it's obviously the people, um, the, the tools that we have, and the methodologies we, that we use to design and develop a car. So all those bits need to come together. Um, so, you know, that it's a, a, a constant battle that we're fighting just to try and produce the best car. You have to have an open mind. So the rules have been written with a, a, a certain aerodynamic concept in mind, but we actually have to look at what is the actual wording of the rules and what we can actually get away with. There's a huge amount of understanding we need to build because the cars are going to be running a lot closer to the ground. All the flow structures are going to be a lot more unstable at certain points. Um, we've got to build our understanding on that. We've been working closely with Viri, developing a completely new power unit. And again, that's all about trying to optimise the, the total car performance as well as you know, either just the chassis or the power unit. So again, there's been some great collaboration there. Coming with the, this new set of rules as well is a, a large step on safety, which is fantastic. The loads have increased massively on the chassis, um, and that is, uh, means we're spending lots of extra weight. Weight is going to be a challenge for everyone. We're right near the weight limit, so you know, you're looking to try and save every little ounce that you can all over the car. The other set of rules that we have to deal with is the financial regulations. There's now a cost cap. Um, and we need to be careful you know, how we design and develop a car. You know, we've got to get value for money. Every little bit of performance has to you know, earn, its, earn its place. Through the first two tests and the earlier races, there's going to be a, a massive step in learning. We've obviously had our own ideas of what this set of rules means. We're going to see nine other options of what that is. We'll try and pick the best pieces out of everything. So, you know, we're learning all the time in our own wind tunnel. We get the luxury of looking at the results of nine other wind tunnels so we can actually understand and just make a better car. So it's, there's going to be a huge increase in performance. And, and as well, the cars you'll see at the first test, we've already got a load of upgrades coming through for the second test and the first race. So again, this development battle is underway but it will really step up once we start analysing closely what all the other cars' solutions are. I think when you see all the cars roll out the door at the first test, there's going to be some you know, reasonably different shapes to start with. Um, and I guess over time, over a number of years maybe, they'll end up looking a lot similar. 
but at the moment there's quite a lot of different solutions. I mean, we ourselves have had, you know, you, you do some developments, you reach a fork in the road and you go down one fork. Other people would reach that point and would have gone the other way. So it'll be really interesting to see how the, the solutions that we've tried and passed over to see how people have developed that type of concept. I think when, when we see all the other solutions that are out there, you know, it, it is an exciting time. We've obviously done what we think is the best and what we can do uh, within the resource we've got, but it's, it's just a, a you know, massively interesting seeing how different groups of engineers try and solve the same problem. There'll be things we, that we've got right, there'll be things we've got wrong and need to improve, but that, that, that's the fun of it, really, and that's what makes the, you know, the, the early tests and these early races so exciting.